Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Joseph here for a Friday afternoon video. And it's hot. A hot Friday afternoon video right here on the home of old things ranting. You know it, you love it, you can't get enough of it. Who? Oh, it is the very dark and mysterious and evil. Best fucking rant channel ever, and it is, and it is very legend, oh, wait for it, wait for it, Gary, very fucking legendary, home of all things raining, the P -P -P G Ranch channel, and as always, thank you for watching, make sure you like the video, hit that subscribe button down there inside of my goddamn pants, known as the description box below on this channel, and my other channels as well, show your love and support. Leave a comment if you wish, but don't leave stupid comments, because you go bye-bye. And if you don't like that, too bad. Too bad, you can cry me a river, but I still won't care. And don't forget to follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Gotta be real there, if you're not, you get the same treatment, you're out of here. Go bye-bye, go cry, go cry to your mama. And that's, and that's that. Don't forget to share the video all over the internet, don't forget to... Tap and slap that bell to on all notifications so you don't miss the next video. Because if you miss anything, you need to get slapped in the face. Because you're SOL. And you know what that means. And if you don't know, look it up. And if you can't look it up, then you got problems. And uh, I'm not helping you. And that's pretty much it. And if you're new here, you're just coming to my channel for the very first time. And you see my gorgeous sexy face because you know you love it. Right, ladies? If you're watching me for the very first time and you want more, please hit that bell and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next video. And if you want to wa want to watch past videos, then subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and like I said, leave actual good comments because if they're gonna just be disrespectful comments, then you go bye bye. I'm not putting up with anybody's bullshit. I don't. I'm not going to take anybody's disrespect. Bottom line is, if you don't like the video, then go watch somebody else. You don't like me, too fucking bad. Simple as that. Simple as that. You got to beat with me, then take it up with me. Don't take it up with other people that have nothing to do with it. They have nothing to do with, with, with the, the topic at hand. Okay, you want to have beef with, if you have beef with me over something I said, then just take it up with me. Don't take it up with other people. This guilty by association bullshit pretty much is a bitch move. And that's pretty much it. I'm not going to stand for that shit. If you can't take people at face value, then don't watch them at all. And don't bring in other people that have really nothing to do with what's going on with uh, with with certain pe with, with people's beefs don't bring other people into it and then you know have people turn on each other for just no apparent freaking reason or the guilty you pull the guilty by association card it it, it is just stupid friends friends lose friendships People lose their jobs over stupid petty bullshit on YouTube and social media. Because people just don't have a fucking, you know, funny bone in their body. Whether it be a serious, it could be a serious video and people still hate it. It could be a funny video and people still hate on that person. Just because they have a grudge with somebody for 7 years, 10 years, 15 years. I personally think if you have a beef with somebody for 7, 10, 15, 20 years plus, you need a life. Grow up. Get over it. And if you can't, then you you need some psychiatric help or you need to go to jail because that's, you know, obsession and that's stalking and harassment. Get over it. Move on with your with your life. Or just keep people that should not be in in situations out of it. 
Like I said, if you have some some beef with somebody, don't bring other people into it. It is between you and that person. Like if it was with, between me and and you, or me and, if it was with me and somebody else, that's between me and that person. It does not involve you, so stick your name, stick your nose out of the out of my business. And I stuck my nose into a lot of BS, and I understand that. That's a long time ago. I am a different person now than I was two years ago, five years ago, ten years ago. It is the way, it is what it is. I'm a different person, whether people like it or not. And I think the obsession with me and a certain uh, certain word that starts with P, and that doesn't mean prick, but but just just all these accusations pretty much have been debunked. They're false. There is no vi valid proof of anything. There's no receipts. It's just mindless BS. False opinions. And it is what it is. But I'm not going to take any disrespectful comments on my channel. I don't have to be treated like that. I'm so, I, am, I should be treated as, an, as a person. And like I said, whether you like me or not, you're going to watch anyway. And for the people that do watch me, thank you very much for the support. And that's it. And for those other people, well, thank you for the view. Thank you for the thank you for the view. And if you sub, well, thank you for the free sub. You're getting blocked anyway, and you can pretty much go to hell. Because I have no time for you, and I have no time for other people that just ha can't grow up. They just cannot grow up. And that's that's pretty much it. I'm just, I just come on here as a hobby. I don't come on here to talk talk shit and, you know, and talk about other people. I mean, I've done that before, and yeah, it got me in a lot of trouble. But nowadays, I don't care what people do on YouTube. You know, I don't care if, if one person's still clickbaiting after 15 years. I don't care. If he wants to do that, great by him. If another, another guy can't grow up and continues to just cause drama in, in the so-called wrestling community and just harass people that have, no, have no, no, you know, just because they don't like his opinion or anything like that, that's a, uh, again, that's a bitch move. It is a bitch move to bring other people... All the people that have nothing to do with it, or, like I said, the guilty by association card. I think, I think pulling that card is a bitch move. All the people that are friends with that person should not be brought in. And, and all the people, I'm not, like, family and friends and whoever, should not be brought into, you know, into certain people's beef. Because it is a bitch move. And that's all I'm going to say. All I'm going to say. Bottom line is. It says I have a no tolerance policy on all my channels. If you can't respect my channels. And you can't respect me. And my opinion. About wrestling or whatever I feel like talking about. Then don't watch my channel. Simple as that. Do not watch my videos. Click the X button. Or click whatever button on your phone. Or wherever you watch my videos from, just click off the video, go on somebody else's video, block me, simple as that, block me, but some people have a very hard time doing that, okay, every, every person that has disrespected me has been pretty much b been blocked, and then, and then, you know, I hear, oh, you can't take cr constructive criticism, no, I'm not going to take anybody's bullshit. That's, the, that's what I'm saying. And then get falsely accused of things I don't do. Or that I said on YouTube. Because people take some, some people take my words, twist it, and then 
that I have to say, I have to explain everything and say face when I don't really need to. So I'm done doing that. I don't need to defend myself anymore with people that just don't like me. You don't like me, I personally do not give two shits. And I'm going to keep doing what I like doing. And that is talking about wrestling, talking about sports, ranting, raving, no pun intended. Uh, whatever I feel like talking about. Because this is a hobby. This is not a job. Because YouTube is not a job for some, certain people. I, yeah, I know the donations and all this bullshit. That's fine and dandy, you know. If you want to make YouTube your job, good luck with that. But, you know... Other people, I mean, in, in, in reality, people should be working. And not working, you know, on YouTube, doing 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 videos a day, or 10 live streams a day, and getting all these donations, you know, they're making like five, 600 to a, a ton more, like thousands of dollars of donations. I mean, for certain channels, that's great. But just for like some rinky-dink 50-sub channel... I think that's a little bit, you know, suspect. You know, because you're basically using people and basically, I hate to use the term, but it's e-begging people to give you give you money because you want to make YouTube your job and you need the donations to to pay for your bills or whatever because you can't, can't go out and get a real job. Certain people. I'm not saying everybody, but certain people. I have I have a good paying job. Okay? I have a good paying job. I can pay my bills. I can save some. If I want to take a trip with the missus or or you know, just by myself. Or if I want to buy some merchandise, like wrestling merchandise or band merchandise. You know, buy some accessories for my, for my guitar. Whatever, whatever, whatever I want to do. I want to buy some... Food or whatever. I set some money aside for that. But most of the time, I'm working to pay for my phone, my phone bill, my internet bill, my the rich man's cable bill. You know, Casa del Joseph and everything else. I'm making money away from YouTube. I am not on YouTube 24-7, 365 like people think I am. I am not. And there is no proof of that, and I do not have to prove my watch time hours or anything to a bunch of misfits like you. I don't have to prove anybody anything to anybody. I am a real person that talks the truth. Okay? And I, wa I watch I, I, I watch Rant and Rave yesterday. I'm not going to bring those people up because I'm keeping them out of it. But there's a couple of people that really opened my eyes last night. And, you know, to those people, thank you for opening my eyes. And seeing how corrupt and how bad YouTube has been. That, that the so-called wrestling community, used, which used to be called the WAP! WC has just gone down the toilet. And it's still in, in the toilet. It's like a turd that just doesn't want to get flushed. Sorry for the analogy, but it is what it is. That's how the YWC is. It's like a turd that does not want to get flushed. Or a cockroach that doesn't want to die. There is no YWC anymore. Everybody is gone, except for me. The OG. Was a certain guy from Canada used to say, The face! You understand? I took that as a joke, but I ran with it. And people can say, I'm not successful on YouTube. You can get, you only get 75 views on your raw review or whatever, this and that. I was like, I, I'm like, I don't give a shit. I don't care how many views I get on my, my my wrestling videos, my predictions videos. I don't care if I have 13, 14 subs on my backup channel. I don't care. 
that was my mistake because I changed the password and I forgot and I forgot to, to turn off. Well, first of all, I forgot to turn off the two-step verification, and now I can't get into the account. And now I had to make. Thankfully, I had a backup, so I used the backup and put all the new information in, and that's how I have the backup channel. But the original Shadow Slayer channel is still up, but it's been dormant for over about a year or two. So eventually it will be gone. Those videos are still up. And there's some epic videos there. But, you know, I, I know I lost like 250, 283 subs, whatever it was. I don't care. And I had to start all the way back down to zero. And I don't care if I don't, I don't get subs on my channels. I don't get a lot of views on, cert, on my certain vids. I don't care. I didn't come on YouTube to be successful. Or to be like, like Sexy Phil or PewDiePie or even Mr. Beast or any, anybody else. I just came here to, ha to have fun and give my opinion about wrestling, music, sports, or whatever the f fuck I wanted to do. And I've done that for getting close to 15 years. And I've had some highs, I had some lows, I had some really, really dark times, like two years ago. It was the darkest time of my life. I wanted to quit YouTube. I legit re was really going to quit. But I didn't want to go out like that, like that great Cypress Hill song. We ain't going out like that. I'm going to go out on my terms. Not YouTube's, not anybody else's terms. I'm going out on my terms. And when I want to leave... I will leave on my terms. When I feel like YouTube is not fun anymore. And there's been points that YouTube has not been fun. With all the e-bagging, all this bullshit that's been going on between everybody. Just, you know, people getting falsely accused of things and everything else has been going on since, since for the last couple of years. It's just, it's just, you know, you can't, you, there's not a lot of good people here on YouTube to talk wrestling and music and sports and everything. Because everybody's getting bombarded by trolls that just don't know how to grow up and shut up. They always want to get the last word in. They want people off the, off the internet or in jail for things that they've never done. Like I said, if you do not like the person, get off get off their channel, go on your own channel, or go to somebody else's channel. And if you can't do that, then you should not be on YouTube. You should not have social media. Simple as that. Simple as that. Because you're making their experience not you know, not not fun, not enjoyable. We're here to some of us people are here to entertain people. Some of us are using the Briscoe term. Great people, by the way. Jay Briscoe, reach for the sky, boy. Yeah, using a term from the great tag team, the Briscoes. Some people are not cosmetically pleasing to be on YouTube. I'm, I am one of them. There's other people that should not even be on YouTube. Oh, his opinion sucks. He should not be on YouTube. So don't, don't, don't watch him. I may, I may hate JD. I'll bring some people up. I, I may hate JD and his opinion of wrestling. I don't watch him that much anymore. I don't care about JD and his stupid freaking mindless zombie subs. I don't care about him. Okay? Sean's for Entertainment. The story about that. We all know about that. I don't care what Sean does anymore. We went our separate ways about a year or so ago. I'm done. If he still wants to clickbait and do all this bullshit, that's his thing on his channel. Okay? That's his own reputation, which has been ruined since 2015. I know my reputation is not, is not great either. I lost a lot of trust with people. I lost a lot of people's respect, which I'll never get back. But, I'll move, but I move on. Yeah, it hurt two years ago. Because I lost a lot of friendships with a lot of good people. 
And I don't hate them, those people that I lost. There's only uh, maybe three, pe three people out of that whole group I pretty much don't care for anymore. Three of them. Maybe, maybe a fourth, but there's really three main people I don't care about, and I'm not going to name them. My neighbor being weird. But in any case, but in any case, so those people that, that I hurt back two years ago, I'm not going to say I'm sorry. I'm just moving on with my life, and I hope your, you know, your videos and your channels are all successful. I hope you have successful lives in general. And that's it. But I don't hate any of those people. I don't. They, they can say, they can say, I'm taking it with a grain of salt. They can say they don't hate me. You know, but, you know, oh, Peter needs to grow up. Peter needs to, you know, focus on himself, which I'm trying to do. But like I said, all I ask from them and from other people on this lovely website is to give me my privacy, let me do what I love to do, and that's offer my opinion about wrestling or whatever else I want to talk about. And that's it. Say, like, respect my content. And if not, block me, move on with your lives. And if you can't do that, you need help. You need to see, I don't even think professional help can help you. I don't even think Jesus can help you. You know, even though people have found Jesus, they've turned the corner. Some of them have, some of them have, some of them haven't. I'm, I'm, I, can, I, I can admit I'm probably one of those people that haven't turned it around in a long time. But I'm getting there. It takes time to mend fences and come around to be the person that God intended you to be. Simple as that. But I know it's taken me a long time to be the person that I want to be on YouTube. And I've had some success here on YouTube, and that's a fact. Okay? And I've been successful in my real life. Two, degree, two college degrees, not going to show them. Met tons of musicians. That's why I work in music. I've, I've, don't, I've, I've been in not one, but two music videos. And we all know the, the, the ever great one in 2014. Two, two million plus hits. Hell, I've been, I've been on a major network TV show with a legend in the in heavy metal slash classic rock, Uncle Ted, Ted Nugent. And by the way, I have a clip of that on on my Kill Demons channel. Am I gonna show it to you? No. That's private and it's in my private stash. Not that kind of stash, but you know what it is. It's on my it's in my playlist. But it is, it is what it is. And I had a, a lot of fun meeting Uncle Ted. And Eddie Trunk and, you know, Don Jameson and Jim Florentine and everybody. Back in 2014. The same year I was on stage with In This Moment. Good things happen to good people. Okay? I directed a music video for one of my uh, good friends. Good friends of mine. I directed one of their music videos, and it has a lot of hits. I don't know the exact number, but it's in the hundred, hundred thousands. And I directed it. I was co-director. And even the, the music stuff I put up on my Metal Guy channel, I'm doing audio and video of the event for work and for ba the, band, the band's purpose. So, and I'm getting paid for it too. So, you can claim I don't have, I don't have a job, I don't have a life, this and that, but you don't know me from a hole in the wall. You just like to hear what you like to hear. You just like to go from my past. Because you can't get away from the past. You can't get away from 2012, 2015, even 2022. You people cannot grow up. 
And I know I've done a lot of shit in the past. And, and I've regretted it. And I, I've regretted everything. I've apologized to people up, up the wazoo. But I'm done doing that. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. And doing my hobby. Which is talk about wrestling or whatever I want. And in my spare time away from YouTube. I'm going to enjoy my life. And using a Jersey Shore term. Jersey Shore, oh yeah, Caps are here. You know, I'm going to live my best life. The only, the best way I can. That's it. I know I got some health problems. I'm trying to fix that. I got a bad back. I got a bad knee. My eyes are a little bit messed up. So I'm getting some reading glasses next week. Because I can't see up close, usually. Even I can go like this. And I can, you know, I'm like this. I'm, I'm, I'm like superimposed right now. I'm like this. Extreme close up. Right, I can barely see how much time I have uh, I have elapsed on my on my phone, and I can barely see anything on my t on my computer. But when I pull back like this, I can pull back. I can see everything. I can see I can see my peripheral vision is perfect. Not perfect. Not I wouldn't say it's one hundred percent perfect, but it's pretty good. But when I'm up close, and I, I can't read the I can't read the fine print usually, so I need the glasses. I don't have them yet, but I get it for I got them for free. After I went for my eye exam this the, earlier this week, I'm getting glasses next week, and I got other things to do. You know, after that, I got a whole bunch of doctor appointments to do. I, you know, in between work, I'm getting ready for July Fourth weekend. I'm getting ready for my vacation at the end of next month, and then I'm going to enjoy the rest of my summer. Going into Labor Day weekend, and then we'll see what happens the rest of the year. I'm getting for Thanksgiving, and then the greatest month of the world is going to be here pretty soon, December. You know, I'm going to enjoy, I'm going to get ready for my 48th birthday, and then that's it, the end of the year, and I, you know, move on to 2025, and I hope to have another pretty good year. So far, the first six months have been. Up a little up and down. More down than up. You know, that's life. You have ups and downs like my dick in your mom's ass. But it is what it is. That's life. That's life. If you can't, you know, you can't just, you know, roll with the punches to get to what's real like David Lee Roth said. You know, then, you know, you're going to keep gonna continue to have problems in your life. I know people are stressed out. On YouTube, they've gone to a hospital, they've gone, you know, they got really sick, this and that. You know, just, you know, certain people, you have to ignore these people that just want to bring you down. And they just want, want, want to just, you know, annoy you. Just block them out. Block them out, focus on you. Do not focus on what they say and what they do. Okay? Because there are immature dumb fucks that need some discipline. They need some jail time. Because it goes, they're going to mess with the wrong people and it's over for them. But but let them let them worry about that, okay? Let them worry. Don't don't say, "Oh, you know, you mess with the wrong person, you're going to get it." And then they say, oh, look, well, let me handle that. Yeah, you're going to handle it when you get your ass handed to you by somebody. Or you're going to be, you know, you're going to do something and it's going to really backfire. And you go bye-bye. You're in jail for the rest of your life. Or, or just your life is going to be miserable for years to come. You know, I'm 47. I, I've done a ton of shit. I'm almost at the midpoint of my life. So I'm about to close the first half of my life. But I'm going to open a new chapter in my life, the second half of my life. And I'm going to focus on that. I'm not focusing on petty bullshit on YouTube and on, on social media. I don't even care in real life stuff. I'm only going to care about me, my family, my friends, I, my, all my friends I have, the missus, and that's it. That's what I'm focusing on as I hit 50. So, 
as, as soon as December 24th, uh, 2026 hits, and I turn 50, right? 1201, 12 o'clock a.m. on Christmas morning, the next day, I will start the second half of my life. And I will start that story. And I hate to use Cody's term, but I am going to finish my story the way I want to go out. And that I want to finish it. Okay? Whether it be with the missus or with somebody else. That's it. That's how I'm going to live my life from pretty much from here on out. The next 30, 40, maybe 50 years of my life, I am not going to care about what happens on YouTube. Not so much what happens in real life. I know with Trump and Biden and whatever. That's the way it is. That's the way the world is. It's not perfect. Nobody in, in on this godforsaken earth is perfect. Here on YouTube, nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect. I'm not perfect. You know, other people, they're not perfect either. They have, they have done some bad things that they had to atone for their sins. And it took them a long time to atone for those sins and get back to being what they are and how, and how the people that subscribe to them and, and, and supported them, you know, it takes a long time to get back that support and get back that friendship if you have they have friendships with other people it takes a long time it could take five years ten years fifteen years it could take a lifetime and then you're dead and then someone then right before you're on your death you're basically on your deathbed you know somebody somebody you had a you you were friends with and you had you know you pretty much lost contact with they'll get they'll get back to you and like oh I'm sorry for what happened 40 years ago well that's great but I'm on my deathbed now when you had the chance to let bygones be bygones and let shit go you don't have to be friends you can still talk but in a civil manner you know you don't have to go on panels you can always talk in private that's that's how I am I'm not you know I lost a lot of friendships and everything and like I said, I don't hate those people. Certain people I still hate, and I'll hate, you know, for a while. It might take some time to get away from those people, and, and the hate, you know, will be gone. It might take me another couple years to just say, you know what, I don't care anymore. It's like, I don't care, I don't care anymore. Those people can say, oh, I'm sorry what happened, for what happened five, ten years ago, that I said this, and, and I did this. I'm like... I don't care. It's 10 years ago. I don't care. Go go your own way. Like that great Fleetwood Mac song. Go your own way. Go your own way. Do your own thing. I don't care. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to be friends with you. You know? And that's it. Simple as that. But, you know, but to those people that I heard two years ago, I don't hate them. I wish them a lot of success. You know, I still talk to one, maybe two, two people offline. That's it. We're just civil. We talk, and that's it. You know, if if one guy wants to bring up drama on YouTube, I'm like, I don't give a shit. It's like I don't care. It's like it is what it is, and it's not like that's how that person is gonna be. I don't care. I'm not. I don't want nothing. I have no part of it. I do not want any part of it. I don't want to be brought into it. Because then we're going to have problems. I don't want to be brought into anybody's BS. Because I'm not going to defend myself. I'm just going to do my own thing. Okay? And if you want to talk, if those people want to talk to me in private, you know where to find me. On my social media platforms. If I haven't blocked you. And some of the, most, most of those people I have not blocked. Especially here on YouTube. On my channels, I, most, of them, most of the people I have not blocked. So if you want to leave a comment on this video or any one of my videos and you want to talk in private, then let me know. And we'll talk like men or women. We will talk like normal fucking adults. And if we can't come to an agreement or some type of, you know, we can talk civilly. And if we, we still, we can't let bygones be bygones. You know, like I said, we don't have to be friends anymore. You know, just live our, live our lives. 
You know, that's it. That's all I want. Just, you live your life, I'll live my life, I'll do my my videos the way I want to. You don't have to watch, you want to support, great. I'll support you, but I'm not going to men mention you in the videos or anything like that. I will support your videos, I'll leave a like, you know. You can unblock me if, you know, you want me to leave a comment, I'll leave a nice comment. I'm not going to bash you, bash you or bash other people. And that's it. Because I am done with this bullshit for the last God knows how long. I don't even know. I just want to do what, I'm what I want to do. And that's, that's have fun on YouTube. And if, if, if it's not going to be fun anymore, then I will make that decision to leave YouTube for good. And leave social media for good. I'll live like I lived like in the 80s, when 80s and early 90s, when you didn't have the internet. When all you did was watch TV, go outside and play with your friends. Play video games like Nintendo, Nintendo or, Se or Se uh, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, you know, PlayStation. You know, I can go back to that those days playing video games all day and watching TV all day. You know, I don't need the internet. You know, but, you know, now times have changed. you got to roll the punches. Now the internet's, the, you know, it's, you know, there's the certain parts of the internet are good, but there's a lot of things that are bad. And social media is one of them. You know? I don't need, I don't need YouTube. I don't need, like, BitChute or Twitch or whatever. I mean, I can still have an account on YouTube and watch Whoever I want to watch, I have the right to do that. But if I want to retire, then I'm going to retire. Okay? I know a lot of people, a lot of, some people, not a lot of people will miss me. But others are like, yeah, he's gone. I'm like, I don't give a shit. Like, go live your boring life. Doing the same bullshit you done, did when you were in your 20s or 30s. Because you can't grow up. Suppose that. But to, summar to summarize and finalize this, this part of the video, because there's two parts. Um, to summarize, ladies and gentlemen, if you do not like me, I personally don't care. And if I can't entertain you, then I'm sorry. If you don't think I'm cosmetically pleasing, then cl please click off the video right now. Move on with your life. I will move on with my life. I got better things to do than talk for 38 minutes. But I felt the need to put this public service announcement in because it needs to be said. And I'm talking real. I'm talking the real truth here, whether you believe me or not. That's it. I'm going to keep doing my reviews and ranting and raving. Like I said, no pun intended, but... I want to keep ranting because that's what I do. I am one of the best ranters here on this on this website and in general. You know, this is one of my best channels I've ever had. I know my Kill Demons channel has 1,240 something subs. I know that. This has uh, 475 subs. Used to have more, but I'm not going to get into that with the, with the YouTube purge and everything. That's another story for another time. But, you know, like I said, I'm not here to be Mr. Popular, to get a lot of subs, a lot of views. If I get a lot of views on my grants, great. Or on my wrestling reviews, great. If I get, a, I get one, sub, one sub a day, or like I get 10 subs a day, 20 subs, 50 subs, great. At least I'm doing my job. At least I'm doing, I'm doing a, a good thing. People enjoy my videos. They, wanna, they want more. And when I can come on the journey that I'm going on right now. And I've been going on for 15 years. And I am not going to stop. And so I feel like stopping. When it's not fun anymore. When it's really not fun anymore. That's it. And I've always said. The train will not stop. It might make some pit stops along the way. It might take a little time off here and there. But we keep chugging and chugging and chugging and chugging along. 
like TNA and Ring of Honor. They've been around for 20 some odd years. Little companies that we all thought might die. Still around. AEW is five plus years old now. WWE has been around for God knows how long. You know, the NWA has been around almost as long as WWE. New Japan has been around. Well, Japanese wrestling has been around for a very long time as well. But it is what it is. I love music. I love talking about it. I love working in it. I love meeting new fans, new people, different bands. I'm starting to, 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 meet, to learn about bands that I never heard of. Like Hanabi, the Japanese girl band, metal band by the way. There's a few others I've, I'm starting to get around, like Conquer Divide. Uh, you know, there's other bands I don't, I can't name them off the top of my head, but I'm starting to like their music. You know, because they st they're starting up, or they've been around for a few years, so I have to go back. This is to the old stuff. It is, what is, I used to hate Iron Maiden. Now I love Iron Maiden. I used to hate Ronnie James Dio. That's a bad thing, but now I love Dio. I have a lot of Dio albums now. You know, God bless Ronnie James Dio, the creator of the Metal Horns. Not Gene Simmons. But... I love hearing the old old Dio. Not the no, you're not anything after Last in Line. I'm I'm not really. I, I mean, I, I, I'll listen to it, but not my favorite albums or anything like that. You know, like Sabbath. Anything after uh, after Ozzy, or, or really after Heaven and Hell, Dio, the Dio years. I can't. I don't listen too much of it. Even even when Ian uh, from Ian Ian Gillen from Deep Purple was in. Sabbath. They had a couple good banger songs. Not, you know, the albums were okay, but after that, I was like, eh, you know, I miss Ozzy. You know, everybody misses Ozzy. And then they made the reunion album and this and that, and then everything's history. Metallica, the same way. I, I, use, I always love Metallica. I love Kiss, you know. But there's certain bands that I, I haven't had a hatred for, but over the years, I started listening to them a little bit more. And now I'm, you know, I'm, good. I'm a big fan, like, of Maiden, of uh, Dio, you know, but it's certain music that I don't like and I never will listen to it, like Hanson, Bieber, certain, I mean, the, the mumble rap that's out now, except for a select few, but that's it. All right, enough about, 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 about enough, uh, no more about that, it's over 43 minutes, but, but. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't like my videos, don't watch me, block me, just get away from my channels. And if you're going to come here and disrespect me in the comments section, then you're getting blocked. I don't care what you say about me in video form, I'm not going to give two shits. You can hate me for the, for, until, until the dogs come home until, and until the world ends. I'm pretty much not going to give two shits. But don't come here and disrespect me and my channel. And don't disrespect the hardworking people that do the same thing as me. And if you have a beat with that person, take it up with them. Don't do the guilty by association bullshit. Because you look and you act like a piece of shit. That's the bottom line, because I said so. And if I get a lot of heat from it, from this that this part of the video, I don't personally care, because it's the truth. All right, that's that. All right, now let's get to the second part of the video, the real rant. I mean, the first part was a rant, but semi rant. This is a full rant. I want to rant about what happened two days ago. Now, the for those people that live in my neck of the woods, Brooklyn, New York. Every July 4th, everybody, a lot of people from Brooklyn, from Long Island, from Jersey, Staten Island, even Connecticut, around the country, and maybe around the world, they flock to Coney Island, New York, for the, for the annual Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, which is an annual event every July 4th, at, beginning at noon, because, you know, the trains are packed. 
especially on July 4th. And I've been to a couple of those Nathan's hot dog eating contest things, and it, the trains are packed. It was hard to get on the, on, on the train. Especially the train that goes goes to Coney, goes right to Coney Island. But if you're coming from other other directions, you know, because there's other trains that go to Coney Island. So there's four trains that go to Coney Island. And all four are packed. Unless there's a unless there's a freaking thing on the train, then you might have to take a shuttle bus, and those are packed too. And the regular buses too that go to Coney Island. <clears throat> That's you. Uh, but in any case, people come every year to see to see the Nathan's hot dog eating contest. More specifically, this great man, Joey Chestnut, for the last 10, 15 years, the guy is a god. He has won the last, I believe, last 10 hot dog eating contests. Uh, I mean, he is a machine. He beat the great man Kobayashi to win the title because Kobayashi was like a machine when he came around. It was like, oh, we need this guy from Japan. We we need an American to win. And Joey Chestnut comes out and out of the woodwork beats Kobayashi when nobody could beat Kobayashi. And pretty much for the last ten, almost fifteen years, Joey Chestnut has just been the focal point for going to see the the Nathan's hot dog eating contest. He is the guy. But this year, I don't think anybody's going. I mean, if they still want to go, and because it's an event, great. If you want to go and just you know hang out in Coney Island, go on a beach, go on a Coney Island beach, go to go to the amusement park. I, I don't know if the Cyclones are playing. You know, the Mets minor league team. They want to do that. That's great. If you want to go down to Coney Island and have you know go to Applebee's because there's an Applebee's around there. Or they want to, you know, they want to eat eat some good old fast fashion Nathan's hot dogs. And they're very tasty, like their chicken tenders. <laughs> but chicken tenders, as we say. But in any case, there's gonna be a lot of people down there this summer, and summer begins in six days, by the way. Uh, so there's gonna be a lot of people down there at Nathan's, going to the amusement park, going to the beach, you know, all those hot chicks with the thong bikinis. And all the guys, those cused up roid heads, some of them, you know, on the beach, getting a tan, frolicking in, in the, frolicking in the water, you know, because it's going to be a hot summer, everybody's going to be out of school in about a week and a half, so the summer is coming, and people are going to be, you know, enjoying the beach, enjoying going to the amusement park, going to a baseball game. I mean, no football yet. Football won't be until well, late August with the preseason and then the regular season in September. But we'll talk about that later. Go see the Mets. Go see the Yankees. Go see the Cyclones. Um, I don't know if there's this team in Staten Island anymore. If there is, I mean, go see them too. You can, you can always go see a wrestling show because there's a lot of indie wrestling around the New York City area. And in Brooklyn and in Staten Island and in Queens. Long Island. Jersey, Connecticut, you know, wherever you wherever you go in the Northeast, there, there should be a, a uh, indie show. You go to concerts in the summer, there's a lot of summer concerts, especially in Central Park. You know, concerts, you know, festivals coming around, not so much around the Northeast here and there, but, you know, some of them, not all of them, but, you know, but whatever you're going to do this summer, be safe. But, but for, as far as the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest this year... A lot of people are coming just to see Joey Chestnut, re, you know, once again, try to retain his title and eat, like, seven, 7 million hot dogs. Well, he ain't doing it this year. Why, you may ask? Well, he has been banned from this year's Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest uh, pretty much because uh, Major League Eating uh, the one that's sponsoring the hot dog eating contest. I don't think it's Nathan's for you know, and the people that run the co- that run the Nathan's hot dog eating contest, and you know the people from Nathan's. I don't think it's them. I think it's uh, majorly eating. Well, anyway, they made a decision to ban Joey Chestnut because let me just pull up the story here. 
because he agreed to become a pitch uh, a spokesman or pitch man for Impossible Foods vegan hot dogs. So he has a sponsorship with a vegan hot dog company. So Major League Eating is like, oh no, you can't do that. I think that's retarded. I think this whole decision is retarded. And they're trying to get Kobayashi to come in this year. To be at the contest. Like I think he was a year or two ago. A couple years ago. And Joey Chestnut whipped his ass. But nope. Not getting it this year. And basically. The company that manages the event. For Nathan's. Said that Joey Chestnut has nobody but to blame. But himself. And I call bullshit on that. If he wants to be a pitchman for vegan hot dogs, let him do it. Okay? Why, why does it have to be... Like, oh, you ha we have to eat beef hot dogs. Or there's, you know, beef hamburgers. That's why they call it impossible burgers, vegan burgers, turkey burgers, chicken burgers, whatever it may be. Why does Joey Chestnut have to be the odd man out? Because he's a pitchman for vegan hot dogs. Can somebody tell me that? I think this is a stupid... The, the, one of the most retarded decisions I've ever heard. Alright, so... the An MOE rep told the New York Post that on Wednesday... Because this was two days ago. In return for his fees to appear and compete... Joey agreed every single year to a very simple exclus exclusivity provision that he would not endorse or sponsor another hot dog brand. Well, I guess Joey forgot to read the fine print there, so maybe there's a little bit of blame for that. But still, who gives a fuck whether he endorses another hot dog brand or, or another hot dog chain? If he wants to sponsor Oscar Mayer Wieners... Or ballpark franks, or Angus beef franks, or whatever it may be, let him do that. If he wants to sponsor Nathan's hot dog franks, he can. He should be allowed to do that. This decision pisses me off. Royally pisses me off. And the idea that Nathan's or Emery changed the rules this year is is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And then, it, it, uh, the story goes on to say, what company would pay someone an appearance fee of several hundred thousand dollars? I know Joey's getting bank every time he appears at the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. He's getting bank. He's getting a, he's, he's probably got a lifetime supply of Pepto-Bismol to go with that. Now, anybody can eat 79 hot dogs in like, I don't know how long it lasts, but that's crazy. I mean, you must have no stomach and no digestive system. 79 hot dogs, and then next thing you drink it, you go put it down with Sprite or water. Probably water. Go put down all the hot dogs with buns. And then once you're done, bleh, uh, give it a Pepto. Bleh, uh, uh, you know, you're doing Pepto like it's a fucking shot, like a shot of Jack. And then you proceed to shit it all out later. And it takes you about three months to actually get back to normal. Because your stomach is... Pfft. It's like, I could never do that. The most hot dogs I've ate is two. Two hot dogs. Hamburgers, depending... Uh, uh, you know... Hamburgers, regular hamburgers... That like my mom makes or get at the, at the ballpark... I can only have one. Sliders, I can have three, maybe four. Like, like, uh... Uh, White Castle. Like, White Castle sliders, I can have like three, four, four of them. Can't go more than that because you know, my, I have a, you know, my stomach gets full and then pfft, the mushroom barley soup comes up. I can't, I can't do it. My, I mean, I don't, I don't gain a lot of weight. I don't lose a lot of weight. You know, my, I've been fluctuating between pretty much 140 and 150, maybe one, I've hit 155, close to 160 at times. Not recently, because I went Monday, and I, I am now 145 pounds. And I've pretty much been staying there for the last 20-some-odd years. I was a skinny little shit back in the day. But, you know, ever since, ever since I, missed, I, missed, I uh, got with you-know-who, she 
plump me up like a freaking hot dog. But pretty much my metabolism, you know, like I said, I don't, I, I don't gain a lot of weight. I don't lose a lot of weight. I have a lot of belly fat when I eat really, you know, bad things. You know, you know I, I'm a, I'm a, fa I'm a fast food junkie. I drink a lot of soda, and I have to start drinking like Gatorade or water or whatever. You know, to keep my health in check. Because right now it's not that great, but it could be better. So I want to keep my health pretty well, keep my cholesterol down. You know, stay away from dark bills, you know, which is hard enough for certain people to do. But uh, that's pretty much it. Anyway, by the way, Joey was, uh, a rep said, I don't know what rep this was, this was, I'm reading it from the New York Post, uh, said, Joey was not banned, he chose not to compete in the contest the moment he chose to make the endorsement deal with one of Nathan's competitors. Uh, Joey Chester is 40 years old, by the way, has an estimated net worth of four million dollars. Uh, he has won the event 16 Oh, I thought it was more than, like, the last 10 years in a row. But he's won 16 out of the last 17. So he's won since basically 2008, 2009. Guy's nuts. He's a legend. And he's not going to be there on his own accord. He was not banned. He just does, does not want to compete this year. Because, you know, he wants to, he wants to, you know... He chose to make a deal, uh, a deal, whether it be a good deal, or maybe it was a bad deal for Joey. But he's not going to be there. And, you know, last year he wolfed down 62 hot dogs and buns. The year I think a year before that, it was like 72, 79, somewhere around that area. It was, I was like, insane. I was like, wow. But anyway, George Shea, no relation to Shea Stadium or anything, uh, he called Joey, Joey Chester's hookup with Impossible Foods, quote, a catastrophe during an interview with WQAM on Wednesday morning. Uh, his reps came to us and said, we have signed up with a plant-based meat company that does hot dogs, and that's that. Um, also said he didn't come to us and say, we have this other offer, let's talk. It was this offer signed, sealed, and delivered, so it made it very difficult to negotiate with him. So he made the decision to, you know, just stay with, stay with the, the Impossible Foods. And, you know, it's like, well, I'm done, I'm done being the, you know, the champion of champions for a hot dog eating contest. So that belt will be, is now vacant. You know, if you're in wrestling terms, that's now vacant. It was never stripped of the title and never lost it. So it is now vacant. Kind of like, uh, you know, uh, Edge's title. You know, he got he had a, he had to drop the belt due to injury. He didn't never lost it. He never he was never stripped of the belt, even though the box might think something else, something else. But you know, now we got a vacant title. We're gonna crown a new champion at Forbidden Door in that ladder match. Just the same thing here. Joey decided to step down as champ. He never lost the belt, so we're having a new champion this year. So we got that. Uh, Cam Soda, an adult entertainment site. Oh, I'm gonna know. I don't even. Never mind. Anyway, they offered Joey Chestnut up to one million dollars to headline the their platform's very first annual Wiener Wallop online hot dog eating contest. And also, it came out. Uh, also, there had have also been fifteen Let Joey Eat petitions that are on Change.org. Not that it matters there, but I mean, we have to see. We're right? like. Basically, we're three weeks away from uh, July 4th. I mean, anything can happen. Joey Chestnut and, you know, the people at Nathan's and, you know, Joey Chestnut himself is like, you know what? I'm going to come back. I'm going to defend my belt for the 18th time or whatever it may be. But, you know, if he decides to stay away this year, I mean, it's not. Gonna, I mean, it's still going to be a good event, but a lot of people are want to come to see Joey Chestnut eat like 65, 70, 75 hot dogs. They don't want to see another champion. They want to see Joey Chestnut. On the women's side, I think uh, they have some some woman. Um, I don't know if she's Japanese, but I think they call her the Ninja. I mean, I don't follow the women's side of the hot dog eating contest. But, I mean, crazy there, too. And also, it was announced at, that 
um, Labor Day weekend, I don't know, and they're trying to do Kobayashi versus Joey Chestnut on Netflix. Netflix, mind you, Netflix. I don't know where it's going to be held. I, all I know is it's, it's going to be on Labor Day weekend. So probably that Saturday, Sunday, or that Monday. Or that Friday, who knows. So it's going to be between September 1st and September 2nd or 3rd. On Netflix, if it even happens. It depends on Kobayashi and Joey Chestnut. But it looks like it might happen. I think it's going to be, you know, as much as I'd rather see it in Coney Island. Yeah, because that... Everybody want, wants to see that them go at it again. I'd rather have, have it one-on-one -on -one in Coney Island. Forget the rest of, of the uh, the event. Forget the women's side. Just have Kobayashi and Joey Chestnut go one-on-one -on -one for like 15 minutes. Whatever the time limit is. Just have that every year. Kobayashi versus, versus uh, Joey Chestnut. And then you start bringing in the other people from the, um, the MLE. You know, the professional eating eaters, whatever the company is. But this pisses me off, man. That that major league eating, you know, pretty much banned. They didn't like I say didn't ban him. I'm just pissed off that they they say, oh, you can't do it. You know, we're mad because you you were you're sponsoring uh, one of our competitors. You're not you're like you you're not you're not with Nathan's anymore. You wanna you wanna rep a vegan vegan hot dog company. I'm like, so what? If he wants to do that, then fine. It's his prerogative. But people are pissed. People come to Nathan's hot dogs. They come to Coney Island to see Joey Chestnut every July. And now, pretty much, not gonna be doing that. This at least this year. Next year. Who knows? And if this thing happens in September, wherever it may be, if it's just in a studio, I think that's dumb. I think it should be at some type of hot dog place or at a stadium. It could be at, it could be in Brooklyn. Right, I don't know about I don't know about Brooklyn because of the whole Nathan's thing now, but uh, you know they could do it an event on Labor on Labor Day. Have Joey Chestnut versus you know before the before the Cyclones game. Have Joey Chestnut versus freaking Kobayashi. Like the game was started at two o'clock, uh, one o'clock, uh, no, two o'clock, two two three o'clock in the afternoon on a so Saturday or Sunday. Right before, like, but you know you have like a double header. You have Kobayashi and Joey Chestnut, then you have the Cyclones game. Best of both worlds, but. It is what it is. I'm not bashing Joey Chestnut. I just think, you know, if you want to go do your own thing, that's fine. But, you know, you're, you're hurting a lot of people, especially in New York, in the Brooklyn area, that come out to see you every July. And you're hurting those, those, people cha those, people cha those people's chances, I'll get out of my mouth, that's what she said, of watching you. And now people are not going to flock to Coney Island. To, to watch the, uh, the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Which has been on ESPN. I don't know if it's going to be on this year. Now that Joey Chester's on, on well, I guess I won't show it. Who knows. But let me know you guys' thoughts about Joey Chestnut and the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. Do you think Joey's in the right? Who's in the wrong here? Is it Joey? Is it Nathan's? Is it uh, Major League Eating? Who's in the wrong? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And that's up. Pretty much it for that. Alright, so I talked for about an hour and four minutes. I got other videos to do today. I got to do uh, Dynamite. I got to do Collision. Co uh, not Collision, sorry. I got to do uh, uh, Clash of the Castle predictions, which I'm actually going to do next. Um, and then, if I have time, I'll do Dynamite. Let me see how much... Eh, see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. I don't have much power power on my battery. I might have to use my other phone. Uh, but we'll see what happens with that. So, um... My next video coming up in a little bit will be my Clash at the Castle predictions on TSL number 31. And then if I have some time, I will do a Dynamite Thoughts or slash review right before right before uh, SmackDown. Because SmackDown is, has already been taped. The, 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 uh, they already had the kickoff, kickoff show over there in Scotland, which was very interesting. Uh, SmackDown, also interesting. The, the 
spoilers are, are out, so if you don't want to watch Smack, you don't want to hear the spoilers, don't watch SmackDown. And um, that's that's that. Also, Rampage spoilers are out. If you want to watch Rampage later on after at ten o'clock, then do that. But if you want to stay, you know, don't want to hear spoilers, then stay away from the internet for pretty much the rest of the day. But guys like me, I already saw it. And I don't care. But I'm still gonna watch the show because I got nothing else to to watch on Friday night. Not as much as I want to go out Friday night, but it's gonna rain here pretty soon. Like thunder boomers and lightning and Satan's gonna come down and eat your soul. And everything like that. But we'll see what happens with that. Alright guys, that's all I gotta talk about and rant about. Uh you know, just uh, the Joey Chestnut thing and you know just to give a PSA about, you know, like I said, if you don't like my videos, don't watch me. But if you're gonna come here and disrespect me in, in the comments section, then you're gonna get blocked. And if you don't like that, then go cry to your mama. And that's it. Alright guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I, uh, until next time, be true to yourself, be a real American, like Hulk Hogan said, but, but, have a great weekend, be safe, be well, and, uh, as I always say, peace out, rock on, and rock on with your cocute, and if you're not down with all I have said in this long as fuck video, that's too bad, because you watched anyway, thank you for that. And if you're still not down with that, then me and a whole lot of people that are way better than you, and you know it, we got three of the greatest words in the history of life itself. Fuck you, man. You don't like it? Fuck off. And rotten hell. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.